Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. It's Nidhi. I hope that you guys are doing very very well. So about a week ago, I posted a vlog of me getting three tattoos and the card will be up here if you guys haven't seen it yet. But I had mentioned at the end of that that I'm going to be doing a tattoo tour. So here it is. Before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is in collaboration with Solio watches. I'm wearing a Solio watch right now and as you guys know, I am very keen on always wearing my grandfather's old watch but this brand ticks all of my boxes and I want to share them with you. It's ethically and sustainably made, made here, local in Quebec. That's a big deal for me. I love that. Um, I love the look of the watches with this kind of strap, but in the past five years that I've been vegan and in the past like two years that I've been cruelty free, I haven't been able to find a strap like this that wasn't real leather. So when I found this, I was super excited. Not only are their eco straps vegan, but they're also free of PU and PVC, which is great. And the best thing is that the watch is solar powered. You're completely eliminating the battery waste from this watch. I don't ever have to change the battery. Do you see what I mean? Their styles range from eco straps, which is what I have. I have the brown leather, fake leather eco strap, um, to mesh straps and all different colors and styles, which I really like. I think what really caught my eye about this one specifically was that I don't find it too feminine or too masculine. It's like somewhere right in the middle and I find that a very comfortable thing to wear. Um, so that's what drew me towards this one, but there are so many different styles. And what's fun is that they also offer engraving in the back of the watch. So if you're looking to get this as a present for somebody, or even if you're getting it for yourself and you want to put something in the back, I think that's a super nice touch. I got my initials in the back, which I think is really fun because watches personally are for me, passed down through generations. I wear my grandfather's old watch and I assume that I'm gonna be giving this to my kids and hopefully to their kids and I just think it's cute that it'll have my initials in the back. They're currently offering a limited edition watch with only 500 units to raise money for sick children with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So the founders of Solios are actually donating $50 per watch sold with this edition to reach their $25,000 goal. If you guys want to make a purchase, you can head down to the description box. I have a link and an affiliate code there for you. And lastly, Solios and I are teaming up to do a giveaway for one of their watches. I think this is so fun. Okay. The giveaway is happening on Instagram. So I'm going to have my Instagram link down below. That's where it's happening. Um, the picture will already be up by the time this video goes up and you'll know because it's a picture of a watch. So. I don't know. Join the, join the giveaway. I think it'll be really fun. I think it's such a good opportunity to give back to you guys. If you're looking to give this as a present, I think that's a good idea. Christmas is coming up if that's something you guys celebrate. If not, save it for a birthday, save it for something, or just treat yourself. All of the instructions to enter the giveaway will be in my Instagram, so do go check that out. It's open internationally. I know a lot of my subscribers from here are from a mix of Canada, the States, India, and the UK. That's like the four main geographic areas um so it's open internationally to like literally everybody please go enter um yeah okay so getting into the video um i have seven tattoos and i plan on getting many more i'm oh, sorry about me. although i do plan on getting many more and fulfilling this sleeve um i do think this would be a good time to answer some questions because there have been a lot here's the thing okay i'm gonna preface this now so you guys don't feel like you've been scammed I'm not gonna explain the meaning of all of them. I know that that's a main question in a lot of tattoo tours. Obviously you guys wanna know the meaning and stuff like that, but I find that very, very personal. Um, so I won't be explaining all of them. This is the internet. What I say on here will be on here forever and that is not something I'm willing to share. Um, so for some of them, I will explain others I won't and I hope you guys can respect that. Some I feel are pretty self-explanatory and I don't mind explaining the meaning, but others are very, very personal and come from a very deep part of my life and I just don't want those parts of my life on the internet. I hope you guys can understand. I know that you guys are an understanding audience as it is, but I just want to preface it now so you don't feel like you watched this video and didn't get any of the answers you wanted. So I've worked with three different artists, all from the same studio. Their work, well, their contact, I guess, will be linked down below. So the very, very first one I got was this one. It's the outline of the map of India. A funny story behind this, okay? <laughs> my very first tattoo, I think I was about 18, I think. And I had spent about a year trying to convince my mom to let me get a tattoo. Um, at the end, she was convinced and she actually got one with me. So full circle. It was my sister, myself, and my mom. Um, I, at the time, worked at a salad shop, okay? Worked at a salad shop, my shift was 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. I was chopping up lettuce before the stores opened, just with the giant chopper, and a piece of lettuce flew onto the table, and I went to go grab it, 
and it it looked like the outline of the map of India. Like it looked like it was this shape. And I was like, hmm, that's my tattoo. I'm not kidding. I had been searching for a tattoo idea for a while, but some, something that felt personal, something that felt like myself and all this kind of stuff. Plus my sister and I wanted to get one together, but we're polar opposites. So we were having some trouble like actually finding an idea. And then when this lettuce flew out, I was like, it's a sign. I'll take anything as a sign to be completely honest. Um, so the lettuce piece flew out and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna propose this idea to my, my family. So I told my mom, I told my sister, my sister was like, that's a great idea. That's something we can get together. Like, despite all of our differences, we are part of the same culture. <laughs> yeah, we got that. It literally lasted, the tattoo took eight minutes. I'm not kidding. It took eight minutes. I didn't actually realize it was happening. Um, I wasn't all that nervous about it. I had done my research. It felt irritating, like it was annoying against my skin, but it wasn't painful. I do think pain is subjective. It depends on your pain tolerance, to be honest. Um, but I don't find this place a very painful place. It's kind of like squishy, you know, it's fatty, so it's fine. So my second one is this one. I love her. This one took months to draw out. The tattoo artist was so patient. Thank you, Den. Um, this was one of the biggest pieces I thought I was gonna get at the time, so I spent a long time trying to make sure it was everything that I wanted and fit properly. This one is probably one of the most personal to me, so I, I won't be getting into the meaning, but it has something to do with my mom, and so I was very, very keen on it being exactly how I had envisioned. The bird is a black-capped chickadee, if you wanna look it up or listen to its song. I got it for um, its sound, its song, so if that gives you any kind of information. <laughs> this one was quite a long piece. It was one of the longest. I think it took about three hours, so it was two sittings and it wasn't painful. I think just around here it started to get painful. Like all of this was just kind of irritating, but that's normal when it comes to tattoos. So all of this felt fine. It just kind of got painful around here because you're getting closer to the elbow. So everything else was good. Um, it took about three hours, I believe. It was one of my longest and it took two sittings. So I went to go do the first bit and then I came back and then we did the details. My third one is right here. It's the Om symbol. For those of you that don't know, this is an important symbol in our culture. I'm Indian, by the way. Um, plus, it's very relevant in yoga and just spirituality in general. And so this tattoo is on quite a few women in my family. My mom has this one. She has it on the inside of her arm though, which is like painful. She got it on like the bone here. I got it here. Um, this was a walk-in, so it was like really simple. It took like 10, 15 minutes. The stencil was already there. I picked my font, done wasn't painful uh, its thickness is probably what made it super irritating but overall it was fine and it is pretty close to the bone so it did hurt when i got over here but everything else was fine plus in my head i was like okay it's gonna be done in like four minutes like it's fine you know i've done three hours i think i can do the four minute tattoo <laughs> the next is this one this is my fourth one this was the most painful <laughs> tattoo i've ever gotten it's also my favorite, so what are you gonna do? Like, I don't regret any part of any of these. I really wasn't anticipating it to hurt this much because I thought this was like a pretty fatty area, but I was mistaken. Um, because of the details and how intricate this is, how much shading is done, and just the line work in general, this took, I think, a couple of different types of needles. I could be wrong, but I remember her switching um, needles. This one's done by Lisa, by the way. I'll also have her linked down below. Um, so I remember thinking it wasn't going to be painful, but then I was like in quite a bit of pain. I was, it was sore. It was so irritating. I wanted to stop and do it again another day, but I just kind of like sucked it up. What I really like about this one specifically was that the artist was super just good at gauging how I was doing. This was my first piece with Lisa and she was able to kind of tell when I was tapping out. She was like, you need a break, like go drink some water, sit up for a bit, like do some breathing, whatever. It, I genuinely didn't think it was going to hurt this much and it, really did. The lines are quite literally perfect and I could not have imagined a better outcome so this is by far one of my favorites. I love this so much, so much. Like everything about it is exactly how I wanted. This one in short means creativity and growth for me. Um, I think that being called creative or ambitious are two of my favorite things um, to be called. I think those are the words that I relate to and I strive to relate to. Um, creativity is just so important for me. I think it's like how your soul grows. So for a while I had lost that part of myself, my creative side, and I really felt like I wasn't gonna get that back. Um, 
And then when it came back, it felt like I just, like it really felt like I flourished. Like it felt like I was growing in all the right ways. It felt like, like a, like a drain had been unclogged. Like everything that I hadn't made in months was coming to surface. All the ideas that I've had in my subconscious were like, here they are, you can do them, you know? And I just think like creativity is one of the most important things to me. Um, as is growth. The next three um, are my most recent ones and they were all done in the same sitting. So I can't tell you how long they took individually, but overall, all three of them took 45 minutes. The first one is this one, it's the equal sign. I can't even tell you how long this took because I genuinely didn't feel it happening. When she was doing this one, I thought she was doing the 1134 here. So I have no recollection of the, 11, the equal sign happening. I think the equal sign is pretty self-explanatory, but let's take a minute to bring in the queer community here. Um, I think our people in terms of the queer community have fought extremely hard and are still fighting extremely hard to get us all of the rights that we deserve and to bring us to the place that we deserve to be in terms of same-sex marriage, in terms of just the same rights as heterosexual couples. Um, there is so much strength in our history and I love that we're going to keep fighting for the generations to come. Um, I don't know, I, this was always something that I knew I wanted to get. Um, the next one that we did in that sitting was this one, the 1134. This one was probably the most painful out of the three, probably because it is closest to the crease and its thickness, it was like quite thick. Um, this one did take a little bit longer to heal, like I feel like it got a bit red around, it was the itchiest, um, just overall like not a fun healing process, I wanted to like scratch, scratch it off. This one I got questions about, people were asking because I know that it has other meanings, but it's not an angel number for me. For me, it is the minute that my brother was born. Take a moment to realize how cute that is, I know. <laughs> yeah, my brother was born at 11.34 in the morning and I remember every single part of that day. We are at a 12 year um, difference, so I remember everything from his birth. I was 12 years old um, and it was like, just one of the most exciting days. We woke up at like five in the morning. I packed all my stuff, my books, my crayons, my toys, everything that I wanted to bring because I knew it was gonna be like a long day at the hospital. And then we just sat there and waited and waited. And finally, I remember my dad coming out being like, your brother's here. And I was like, whoa. I remember the first time seeing him. Just everything about that day is like, it, as if it's yesterday. Like I am so thankful that we have this age gap because I remember everything about his life, everything, and I am so thankful for it. The last one in the sitting was this one. It is two hands holding each other. Um, this is the newest one I have, and its meaning is also the freshest. Um, as we know, and I have alluded to in quite a few videos, 2019 and the beginning of 2020 were extremely hard for me, and I found a strength in myself that I didn't know I had. <laughs> I found a part of myself that I didn't know existed and this tattoo kind of has stuff to do with that without me explaining it in depth. Um, I think it's one of the most emotionally heavy pieces and I still cry when I look at it sometimes so like that's how fresh it is you know. Um, I love how clean and just simple the lines are. I love how minimalist it is. I think with something as heavy as the light bulb on my lower arm, this is a really nice mix of having something simple, you know? And that's all seven of them. That's it. <laughs> um, I know that I didn't get into the meaning of some of them. I didn't really explain this one or this one to its full extent, um, but I hope that you guys can respect that. Those are my two heaviest pieces I find. And so I'm already very careful of what parts of my life I put on the internet, I don't think I want my tattoo meanings on the internet forever. You know what I mean? Thank you guys very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. I love watching other people's tattoo tours. I think the art on people's bodies is so fun to look at and so interesting. So I hope that this was fun for you. I do want to say thank you again to Solios for collaborating with me on this video. Um, if you guys want to join the giveaway, which you definitely should, I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, you guys can head down to my Instagram. All of the instructions will be there. I highly recommend it. Open internationally, beautiful company, ethically and sustainably made. What else could you want? And it's beautiful, okay? Plus the watch would be of your choice. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna ship one that's like one that we decide. You guys literally get to choose the watch that you want. So go join the giveaway, okay? Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I hope that this was fun. I hope that you enjoyed this tattoo tour. Um, 
yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. No. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press rewind, though.